For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim, Christina's older sister. Growing up, Christina and I were pretty close. Later in life, she became my partner in crime. She was always down for an adventure in the silver bullet with the windows down, singing songs at the top of her lungs that she never knew the words to. She partied at college with me when she was 15, and she never turned down a free concert ticket. Most younger siblings said that they looked up to their older siblings. That's the opposite with me. I can honestly say that each and every day, I'm in awe of Christina. The way she lights up a room just by walking into it, the kindness she brings to any situation, no matter what it might be, and the humor she finds in almost everything just amazes me. Before I met Mike, all I heard was that he grew up in Medford and he wore a Yankees hat to meet my dad. As the years have gone by, Mike has continued to impress me. I've always looked out for Christina, but today, Mike, I'm announcing my retirement and passing the torch officially to you. You've earned it, and I know you will do just fine. Christina, as you move into the next part of your life, I thank you for always being there to listen, make me laugh, even if I might roll my eyes, and being not only the best sister, but a best friend anyone could ask for, and more than anything, the best auntie to Molly. So if everyone can raise your glass, Mike and Christina, may your lives be full of love, laughter, new not weird hobbies, and unlimited Christini martinis. For everyone who doesn't know me, I'm Mike's little brother. I'm sure he's panicking right now because he's scared of what I'm gonna say. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we're just here to congratulate Mike and Christina on their next step in life. Uh, special thanks to Gail and Kevin, wherever they are. Uh, you, thank you so much. You raised the sweetest, most wholesome person I've ever met in my life, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I wanna thank my parents as well. Uh, today, they finally got the daughter that they never had themselves. My mother was giving every girl nookie sandwiches because she didn't know how to handle a girl when they came to the house. She might give you one if you want later. So Mike's a, li a, a little older than a year of me. I was always trailing behind him. He was always looking out for me, fighting everyone for me, watching out for me, and always played the role of the protecting older brother. So when Mike asked me to be his best man, I was on it, but nervous. Because everyone knows who knows Mike, that he micromanaged me at every step of the wedding, the bachelor party, but actually it made it easy to be the best man because, well, Mike didn't disappoint. He micromanaged me at every step of this process. But as neurotic as that sounds, it was because he was excited. He was excited to get married. He wanted this day to come. He wanted it to be perfect, despite our other brother sweating profusely. When Mike was asking me to write my speech every day, it was because this is how he shows his excitement. He was excited to be marrying Christine. I always admired Mike for who he was. But Mike has grown so much in the past eight plus years. He's grown from the brother that I admired to the man that I admired. But for that growth, I cannot go without thanking Christine for helping him grow into the man that he is today. Christina, thank you for being you. Thank you for loving my brother. Thank you for that laugh, your ear to ear smiles, that quirkiness, and that wholesome personality. And for whatever it brings, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of your day. Thank you, everyone.
Says to keep standing underneath the shade tree, darling. I love you. I'm hoping that you pray for me.